We're joined now by Kenneth Clark, the former Chancellor, Tory big beast, who voted through gritted teeth for the May deal last time. I think that's a fair uh, assessment, isn't it? You said it was a dog's breakfast, but you'd vote for it. Does she still get your vote tomorrow, Ken? Uh, yes, of course. I mean, I personally would prefer to stay in the EU. I think it's a disaster that we're leaving. But the House of Commons voted overwhelmingly to invoke Article 50. I voted against it. And I want, therefore, a sensible Brexit. And this withdrawal deal is a, a tedious preliminary. Uh, there are three straightforward points. It could have been settled in the first ten minutes, uh, it's certainly the first couple of months. Uh, it's a perfectly satisfactory deal which the government won concessions on before she came back and commended it to the House and said it was a good deal. Now, it, what happens if we vote for the deal is you move into the transitional arrangements after March the 29th. We've left the political EU, but then we start the serious negotiations we haven't started yet about our long-term relationships. Is and I mean, tonight is just hair-splitting nonsense. I hope it succeeds because they're trying to get the right-wing ultra-nationalists to say there's some legal reason now why they can agree with the agreement. You're, you're uh, then, talking but, about but, people uh, in your party. Uh, what know, would well, you they're, say they're in, to convince actually, them then? They're actually in the European Research Group. They formed a breakaway party, but they're still You don't think it. of them as Conservatives anymore? Well, they've got their own leader, they've got their own chief whip, and they certainly don't represent mainstream Conservative opinion of the kind I'm used to. But we need their votes. Of so course, the big, the, the, you're not going to get their the, votes The biggest then. block against the agreement last time, the reason we lost by 200 30 was the Labour Party voted on block against it and the Scott Nats uh, and a whole lot of people who believe unlike me in a second referendum the people's vote people what Theresa's concentrated on and the cabinet are concentrating on are the hard right nationalists in my party and I hope they're successful and I hope some well, of the others to do that it. I mean she could well, have reached I, across I, the I parties, think if she started she? earlier she might have made some more progress because we need cross-party agreement there's a cross-party majority it doesn't can I just be honest it doesn't from what I've heard from Keir Starmer uh, tonight sound as if you've got it he just said this adds nothing yeah I don't know what Keir Starmer's actually got against the Irish backstop all this stuff about the Irish backstop is hair splitting nonsense it will probably we never need the Irish backstop and it will certainly be temporary if we do I, I don't I, I think Keir is in the people's vote camp I think and I don't know why he's trying to block things but anyway that's all all a bit late now I hope we have a majority tomorrow if we don't have a majority tomorrow then the House of Commons has got to rule out leaving with no deal that would be catastrophic uh, in the short term confusing bad in the long term it sounds like you think she's not she's not going i don't to get think this she's going to win tomorrow, tomorrow but i hope she does i should be voting with her but then if we don't then you have to rule out leaving with no deal and get an extension it's no good getting an extension to june another three months would be like the last three months we can't have more daft nonsense uh, with them coming back with variations on this deal saying vote for it this time as we approach another cliff edge in june i think we should go to the end of 2021 spend the time long giving us plenty of time to negotiate the final arrangements if we're leaving the eu what are our long-term relationships going to With be with respect though it's and about then, tomorrow can, first isn't it it's tomorrow first and uh, but i'm just saying what happens if as i think she's defeated tomorrow obviously i'm a spectator of all this stuff about whether Geoffrey Cox is going to come up with the form of words that suggests it's temporary or not temporary. Can we have a permanently open Irish border so long as it's only temporary? Can we have a permanent Irish border sure. so long as the British government can veto it? If it wins over the headbangers in the ERG, that's fine, or enough of them. Some of them it won't. But if it fails, then we can't carry on with this okay. farce. Let's have serious negotiations about everything what our eventual new relationship is going to be, that will take you to the end of 2021 at least. King Clark, thank you very much indeed. Yeah.